Now let us understand about the structural constraints on relationship types. The structural constraints are referred to as uh, ratio constraints and these are indicated as min dot dot max. That means how many uh, entities can participate. So if I say 0 dot dot n, that means any number of entities can participate. Minimum 1, maximum 1. That means only one entity can participate in one relationship. Then I also define the maximum cardinality which is called the cardinality ratio and I also specify minimum cardinality which are called the participation constraints. Let us look at each, uh, let us look at cardinality ratio and participation constraints. So now maximum cardinality or cardinality ratio can be defined in various ways. These can be one to one, one to many, many to one, many to many. Now, uh, uh, one to one. So uh, we uh, pre, uh, put the link, uh, put the number on the link, like one or n. So one to one, one entity in A is associated with only one entity in B. So for example, one employee or uh, many employee. Uh, so for example. Um, one patient will have one doctor. So that becomes an example of one to one. Then one to many. Uh, one doctor will have many patients. So an entity in A is associated with any number of entities in B, but B is associated with only one entity in A. So one to N in this side, but on the other side, it is one to one. See here, this is one to one. Here, this is one to many. But this side, if you take from this side, it is one to one only. B2, A1. B1, A1. So, now this becomes an example for one to many. And this is one to one. If you take uh, employees and fathers, one employee will have only one father. Um, one to many on the other side becomes many to one. Many to many is a combination of one to many and men, uh, many to one in both the sides. So this is an example of many to one, uh, many to many. Now let us discuss about participation constraints. Participation constraints... Uh, specifies whether the existence of an entity depends on its being related to another entity via the relationship type. There is total participation and partial participation. Now, total participation means every entity has to get involved in some or the other relationship in the relationship set. That is total participation. Every employee must work in some department. Every employee must work on some project. And the other one is partial. So, a uh, manager and participation of employee as manager might be partial. Partial means all the entities will not get involved in that relationship. All the employees will not be managers. Uh, par total participation is indicated with two lines and partial participation is indicated with the single line. So, this indicates partial participation, total participation. Now, this is cardinality ratio. I specify 1 on this side, n on this side. And then structural constraint. Structural constraint is defined using min, comma, max or min, dot, dot, max.